following profile details the important events of the mission using approximate times. The Atlas RD-180 engine and five solid rocket boosters, SRBs, fired to lift the vehicle away from the pad. At 85 feet into its flight, Atlas begins its initial pitch, yaw, and roll maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile. This will minimize aerodynamic loads. At five seconds into flight, the RD-180 engine is throttled down in preparation for the rocket experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. Approximately 27 seconds into flight, the combined pitch and roll program is complete and the vehicle begins a near zero angle of attack phase that will last until after the SRBs are jettisoned. After passing through the maximum dynamic pressure region at approximately 45 seconds into flight, the RD-180 engine is throttled up to 86%. The SRBs burn out after approximately 1 minute 33 seconds into flight. At this point, the RD-180 engine is throttled up to 100%. 13 seconds after burnout, the first two SRBs are jettisoned, followed by the third, fourth, and fifth SRB one and a half seconds later. Seven seconds after the second jettison, the closed loop guidance steering is initiated. At this point, the RD-180 engine begins a ramped throttle where the engine maintains constant acceleration at 2.5 Gs. The payload carrying PLF is jettisoned at three minutes, 23 seconds into the mission. Five seconds after PLF jettison, the forward load reactor, the FLR, is jettisoned. The FLR is designed to minimize motion between the PLF and the spacecraft during launch. Ten seconds before booster engine cutoff, the RD-180 is throttled down to maintain 4.6 Gs. Burning propellant at a rate of more than 1,600 pounds per second, the Atlas is more than 93 miles in altitude, 331 miles downrange, and traveling at a speed of more than 13,324 miles per hour. Booster engine cutoff occurs 4 minutes and 27 seconds into flight. After 6 seconds, the booster section is jettisoned from the Centaur upper stage. Main engine start or MES-1 takes place at 4 minutes 43 seconds into the flight. Centaur and its payload are now in first burn. This 5 minute 23 second burn will inject the vehicle into a slightly elliptical parking orbit. After first burn main engine cutoff, Miko-1, Centaur with its spacecraft enters a coast period of between 8 and 24 minutes. While the time of flight for the following events depends on the actual launch day, inside of the launch window, the Centaur's main engines are next reignited to burn for about 10 minutes. After Centaur's second burn main engine cutoff, Miko-2, the Centaur and the Star 48B third stage prepare to separate 13 seconds later. The Star 48B engine will burn for approximately 1 minute and 28 seconds. Spacecraft separation is to occur approximately 3 minutes and 27 seconds after engine burnout of the Star 48B engine and from 34 to 50 minutes after liftoff, depending on the actual launch date. 